Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 17th of 2023. Well, it is titled Moon Mountains Magnified During Ring of Fire Eclipse. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image from 2020, and this shows an annular solar eclipse. Now the central portion, everything is lined up perfectly with the moon exactly in front of the sun. However, we note that it does not completely block out the sun. Now that's because during an annular eclipse, the moon is farther away from Earth, and therefore appears a little bit smaller in the sky and will not be quite large enough to block out the entirety of the sun. So even when things are lined up perfectly, the sun will, a ring of sunlight will still be visible around the end and this ring or annulus gives us the name of an annular solar eclipse. Now this uh, around this we see multiple images which are magnifying the effects of the mountains on the edge of the moon. So as the eclipse occurs at certain points as you get very close to the total eclipse then parts of the moon will be visible and in fact you can see the darker areas would be higher mountains and the light lighter areas would be the valleys where light is still streaming through. So put it away this is put together it ends up reversing it so that the mountains end up backwards that it looks like the lower parts are further away and the higher parts are much closer. So it kind of inverts and reverses and magnifies intensely the shadows of the mountains that occur as the moon comes closest to blocking out the sun during this annular eclipse. Now this annular eclipse again was from 2020. However, there is another one coming up in just about a month. In October of this year, there will be another annular eclipse visible over parts of North and South America. And of course, we do have another total eclipse coming up in April of next year that will be visible about across parts of North America. So eclipses do occur roughly every six months, we will get a solar or lunar eclipse. But where it's visible on the Earth depends on the exact positioning of the Earth, Moon and Sun that will give us that eclipse. So sometimes they're visible in only very remote areas. They may the shadow may only pass down towards the Arctic or Antarctic regions. Other times it may go right across populated areas, giving a lot of people a chance to be able to see the eclipse. Other times it might go across the middle of the ocean where very few people will get the chance to see that eclipse. But here we have two coming up, one in October and one the next April, where there is a chance to again view an eclipse of the sun. The first one of those in October will be annular like this. In April, it will be a total solar eclipse where the complete surface of the sun will be blocked out. So that was our picture of the day for September 17th of 2023. It was titled Moon Mountains Magnified During Ring of Fire Eclipse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Sprite Tree. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.